Welcome to Minity Maths. In this video we are going to look at two different methods for multiplying decimals without a calculator. Subscribe to the channel for weekly videos. Firstly, have a look at these questions and answers. Do you notice anything about them? Well the answers actually have the same amount of digits after the decimal point as there are in both factors in the question. This is the principle we are going to use with the first method. This principle can be used with a few different multiplication methods, such as the line or the grid method, but here we are going to demonstrate this with the column method. Firstly, make a note of how many digits are after the decimal point in both factors. Next, remove the decimal points. Then calculate the multiplication using your chosen method. In this case we are using the column method. Now place the decimal point into the answer, remembering how many digits were after the decimal point in the question. In this case, 3. This is how many digits will be after the decimal point in the answer. With this next method, we keep the decimal points in place. Calculate the multiplication, as per the lattice method, ignoring the decimal points for now. Finally, draw a vertical or horizontal line from each decimal point until both lines meet. Then follow this point diagonally. This is where the decimal point in your answer should be. Now have a go at these practice questions using your preferred multiplication method. Pause the video while you work him out, and don't use a calculator. Thanks for watching Minity Maths. Subscribe for more videos.